My name is Carol Blackledge, and I uh, enjoyed viewing your post and wanted to respond to your post. Uh, in watching uh, your post, I agreed with you on a couple of things, and actually, as I was watching your post and thinking about my post, I realized that you noticed a couple of things that I didn't notice, uh, and one of those was the touching moment. You know, I remember as I was watching the post, and the counselor reached over and touched the client, I thought, hmm, that, that makes me feel a little bit uneasy. But I didn't point it out in my post. However, you did, and so I thought that was a really good catch, and that's something I would like to see more discussion on is, is that appropriate or not at any point in the counseling relationship? Uh, is it appropriate to reach over and touch a client, even as a, as a means of comforting the client? And so I thought that was... A really interesting uh, observation on your part and I'm really glad you pointed it out because maybe it will lead to further discussion. And the other uh, point that you made was the lack of the use of silence because I've you know heard in many of my classes and uh, there seems to be a lot of emphasis on the appropriateness of silence and how it can be used effectively and yet in the sessions that we watched as you pointed out there was not a lot of use of silence. So a great observation on your part. They helped me to really open up my mind and think more about those two items. The, the, is it okay to touch a client or not? And to be sure that, effective, that we effectively use silence when we're working with clients. So enjoyed your post. Thank you so very much and look forward to hearing more. Take care. Bye.